Good evening and thank you for joining us. We have been following the saga of Carly Agro as she does attempt to get back to Lloydminster for the home opener on Friday, Aaron, and I guess we get a bit of an update today. Yeah, today, you know, yesterday they sold 95 tickets, so she got to move just outside of Bonneville. So today they were back out on the highway trying to sell some tickets and uh, move that initiative along even more. Well, we'll look forward to seeing the end of that. And Gerard, uh, we've got lots of good weather to look forward to. It lots of like. good weather. The 14-day forecast is spanking hot. A matter of fact, right now we're at 31. Maybe add a few more degrees to that and who knows, you might just tell yourself it's, it's typical Caribbean weather. It looks like it, and it does get there certainly pretty much. 17% is that humidity, mind you, and that's probably the only difference. The wind's easing out of the south at about 21, and the UV is at 5. Yep, put on the sunblock. It's kind of red on the outside for sure, if you don't, all right? Now, let's compare across the region, if you please. There we are, 30 in the Lakeland, and did we say Caribbean weather? Look at the Battlefords, 33 degrees Celsius. What does that all mean? We'll talk about it some more in our second installment. The news of that crash came as a major shock to local hockey product Riley Armstrong. He played half a season in the KHL last year and false reports this morning suggested that Armstrong was on that downed aircraft. Jack Haskins brings us more about this morning's tragedy. 43 confirmed dead in what could be the worst disaster in sports history. Amongst the deceased is former NHLer and Saskatchewan native Brad McCrimmon. Ex-KHL player Riley Armstrong still can't believe what happened. Just to uh, have so much going on in Saskatchewan right now and in Saskatoon with the amount of uh, hockey players that have lost their lives this summer, you know, it just keeps adding up. Lloydminster Bobcats head coach Brian Curran played in the NHL against McCrimmon for several years. Uh, Brad's a fantastic guy. He's an awesome person. My father knows his dad very well. I played against Brad for a long time. It's a horrible thing. In the summer that saw the passing of Derek Bugard, Rick Rippin, and Wade Belak, it would be hard to believe yet another tragedy could happen this offseason. There's some horrible things that have happened in the game of hockey this year, and it's been a horrible year, and a lot of lives were taken that, you know, I mean, what do you say? What do you want to do? Riley Armstrong will be taking part in the St. John's Ice Caps training camp in the end of September, but he's currently in Saskatoon skating with the Blades. The news of McCrimmon's death has shaken up the team. I've heard uh, nothing but good things about Brad. Uh, I've been skating with the Saskatoon Blades here in the city, and uh, he also has ties to there. So, uh, you know, I've, I've, I haven't heard anything bad, and uh, everyone's uh, hanging their heads around the rink today, so it's uh, been pretty sad. Jack Haskins, New Cap News. A local clothing company that advertises products online features shirts with shocking slogans and images. But as Robert Buffum explains, although they might offend local people, police say the shirt company is guilty of nothing but potentially bad taste. What remains of this poster in downtown Lloyd advertises a clothing company and directs people to its MySpace page, where the company sells products that include shirts with these slogans and images. Their shirts, some locals we spoke with, found offensive. I think it's terrible. Do you find it offensive? Very offensive. I don't like uh, seeing somebody with a gun to their head either. Well, I guess it's a free country. You can sell what you want. But. Well, that promotes, that, that promotes hatred. That promotes just about every negativity that we spend a huge amount of time and effort and money trying to stop, curtail, uh, and we allow it because it's freedom of speech. Well, I disagree with that. But according to local police, although there is a criminal code offense related to inciting hatred, simply offending people isn't a crime. It's more than just being offensive. You have to be, it's got to be willful, and inciting hate requires more than just someone being offended. It requires some active um, backlash against that particular group. This lawyer agrees, noting freedoms of speech and expression are fundamental charter rights. And really for that type of uh, case under the criminal code, it has to be extremely serious because otherwise you do have the right to, to be offensive, frankly. Travis Ockenden is the owner and creator of the company. I have a bad sense of humor with a smile, right? So there's no hidden meaning. I mean, a lot of it's going to offend people, but I've grown up all my life just being who I am and not really ever thinking about what other people think. He knows the shirts will offend some people, but says that's not his goal. People are going to take their opinion of what I do and what the, what others do around us and make their own judgments. Most of the time I might not read it anyhow, but if I did read it, it wouldn't offend me. 
but I likely wouldn't wear any one of those shirts. Ockenden says that his interests have shifted away from selling the shirts with the potentially offensive slogans and images to ones that are more artistic with graphic images and designs and color, although he does still stock some of the older ones with those slogans and symbols. Robert Buffum, Newcap News. RCMP are warning residents there might be a cougar northeast of the Battlefords. At 7.30 this morning, police were called to an acreage north of Territorial Drive, east of the Fairview area. Two horses were injured, with long scrapes along their backs, sides and legs. The owner says he saw what appeared to be a cougar in the area the night before. He was not the only witness. Another person claimed to have seen an animal that looked like a cougar in the general area around the same time. RCMP want the public to be aware that the wildcat could still be in the vicinity and have several suggestions to help avoid an attack. Traveling in groups mean you are less likely to surprise the animal and it's suggested you should make noise as well. Supervise and keep your children and pets close at hand. If you do encounter a cougar, don't run away, stay calm, stand your ground, back away slowly and don't turn your back. It's also suggested that you make yourself look larger by raising your arms. RCMP say these are the only sightings or possible attacks that have been reported to date.